Happy New Year. Hello, my name is Lena, and I'm coming to you this new year to do something different. I normally would post what I like to call my short inspirations in writing, and I managed to get a lot of information in a small space, and I post it. But this year, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to attempt to be a little bit more verbal. Um, I can tell you now, I am not a talkative person. I am camera shy, and I kind of like doing things in the background. But I'm going to attempt to do this. Let's see how it goes. Amen? The title of this inspiration is called Moving Forward. Genesis nineteen fourteen. And Lot went out and spoke to his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked to his sons-in-law. As we go into the new years with high aspirations and high expectations of the promises that awaits us, we can't hold on to something that is impossible to go with us. Amen? One great preacher said, and 2016 will be the same as 2015 if you do the exact same things with the exact same people. I don't want to hear the words, I told you so. I told you so is a phrase that is along the same lines as in Luke 17, 32, when Jesus says, remember Lot's wife? I ask you, beloved, do you remember Lot's wife? We know the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, the city that God destroyed for being very wicked and vile, the city where Abraham couldn't find any righteous folks. Beloved, that, that was the thing. God wasn't destroying the city. God was destroying the people, the wicked people that made their city into social wicked living. God did promise to save Abraham's nephew Lot and his family. The promise was sure only if they would leave the city and head for the mountains. Beloved, your promise awaits you only if you leave certain people behind and look towards the hills. And so Lot gathered up his two daughters and his wife as he fully warned his two sons-in-law to escape for their lives and leave that wicked city because it will be destroyed. The two sons-in-laws laughed at him being stuck and played mock and mold and enjoying their wickedness and mocked Lot. Think about this. Lot was a prophet of God. The angels of God gave him a message from the Most High. When something as serious as death, who can have a father-in-law and, can, and can't tell if he's serious? And so Lot and his wife and two daughters ran out the city towards the mountains. Their only instruction was to escape by not looking back. They were to move forward. Yes, I remember Lot's wife. Lot's wife turned into a pillow of salt because she looked back. She disobeyed her husband, her God-given instruction for her destiny. She believed enough to get out of the city, but not enough to reach her destination. Why did she look back? That is the question to answer. That is the quest, that is the comment Jesus wants us to focus on. Jesus tell us to remember Lot's wife. Jesus wants us to be aware of what happens when you don't want to walk away from something that is going to kill you. Lot's wife was fully forewarned about the destruction of the city, and each of them had an individual responsibility to not look back. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure she heard and smelled the brimstone burning flesh and the screams that echoed in agony that in the air. I'm kidding. I'm, I guess I consider that an execution of God by revealing himself to us that would encourage us to believe and continue to lead towards our destination. God was being faithful to his promise. However, Lot's wife was being unfaithful. So why did she look back? She didn't perish for a lack of knowledge, beloved. She perished for a lack of faith. She enjoyed that wicked lifestyle. This is where the faith of Lot sustains him. Even if Lot was holding her hands and when she turned cold stone and couldn't move forward, Lot didn't have the time to look to assess her stubbornness and her, her rigidity. He looked, he fully understood his instructions to escape to the mountains. Had he stopped, he may have inadvertently looked back and fought 
forfeit his promise and destiny high on the mountain top. Don't look back. Lot understood that he was to move forward. Lot's wife, Lot's wife was not the only one who was fully forewarned by the prophecy. Jesus wants us to remember Lot's wife. However, my question to you is, do you remember Lot's son-in-law? They never believed and never was moved to believe because they loved their wicked lifestyle. They received the prophetic word of the coming destruction. They dis disregarded God's command and their punishments were swift and inescapable. They too perished. When God is executing his revelation knowledge of himself to you, you don't have the time, strength, or the ability to pressure or force someone into believing what God has revealed to you. You, beloved, must move forward. Jesus is telling us that those who toyed with the idea was stuck in play mocking mode, joking and marrying and mocking and eating and building. They were building the very thing God wanted them away from. Destruction fell on Sodom and Gomorrah the same way they fell on the days of Noah because they all had that same wicked mindset to not believe the prophets of God. Noah was the second prophet. Adam was the first. Didn't God do it? I am confident now, by now, we have been given individual person instructions throughout the year to enhance our lives for the upcoming year in 2016 to move forward. Let us take God's revealing knowledge of himself by all the sermons you have heard, by all the miracles uh, you have saw, and by all the prophecy that was given, and take them as a full warning catalyst to, to propel us to our promise of destiny. Those who are stuck in that 2015 mindset will be stuck in that play market mode and night will fall as God promise will, promises finally close out that night that opens up the year of 2016. In 2015, that was yesterday. You will never be able to enter to see those miracles again. Let us go into 2016, keeping our eyes on the prize and press toward the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus by moving forward. And set our focus on those who can't or, and don't set our focus on those who can't or won't. By now, beloved, you don't have the time. God is executing his revelation knowledge of himself. Happy New Year and heaven smile.